Um, a few years ago, I was walking through the Botanic Gardens in Singapore, and I saw a dragonfly. Wow! I saw a dragonfly. I was, I was bowled over. Beautiful thing. I thought, I've got to take a picture. So I got my camera, took a, took a couple of shots, went home, put them on the computer. Rubbish. Awful pictures. Blurry. Terrible. Um, but I got a little bit obsessed, and I needed to get a good picture of a dragonfly. So when I could afford it, I went back, I got a brand new DSLR, got myself a macro lens, went and took some pictures. Got them back home, put them on the screen, awful. I'm joking, they were great. Um, I was really happy. that. I, the thing that really impressed me was I could see so much that I hadn't seen with the naked eye. So many things that I hadn't imagined. The facets on the eyes of the dragonfly, the little spines on the legs to make, help them hold on to things. It was amazing. And I got really obsessed. I went back again and again and again. Thousands of pictures. And what I noticed that when I went there to take pictures of dragonflies. Well, you have to wait for them. They don't, they don't come to you, and if you chase them, they fly away. So you wait. Uh, you wait for them to land. And while I was waiting, other things around me in my environment started to reveal themselves. I started to notice other things. Maybe a spider in a flower head. Maybe another bug crawling up the stem of a plant. And then the plant itself. The, the leaves, the shape of the leaves, the colors, all of these things started to appear. And, you know, with an inquiring mind, you start to see different things. If you wait, things reveal themselves. And I, I took this, and I took it with me when I started taking other photographs, because I photographed every dragonfly in Singapore. I had to photograph something else. And I started to go and photograph other things. And I took this, this idea of, of waiting and seeing what in the environment would reveal itself. Um, and again, you approach this uh, with an inquiring mind, even a, a gutter, if you wait and you look and you look deeper, can have something fascinating in it. So, with, with this idea, having taken photographs of dragonflies, having moved on to, to look at other things. Uh, it was really interesting to me the other night, talking to uh, one of the TEDx team. In fact, we were, we were chatting. And she asked me, if you could go to any country in the world to take photographs, where would you go? I thought about it for a bit. Hmm. Where would I go? Singapore, I said. In fact, all of the photographs that I'm about to show you in a slideshow were taken in Singapore. But I wasn't quite right. What I meant was anywhere. I think anywhere is the best place to take a photograph. If you wait, you let the environment reveal itself, it doesn't matter where you are. Anywhere can be an amazing place to take a photograph. If you approach an image or a, or a place with, with an inquiring mind, with feeling in your heart, things begin to reveal themselves. I'd like to show you uh, a picture now. Well, it's got ambience by the sound of it. Um, what do you see here? Tell me, what do you see? A coffee stain, a wall, anything else? A fireball, I like it. Yeah, in fact, this is, uh, this is rust. 
This is rust left by a paint tin or some kind of tin left in the rain. When I got to it, it looked like this. The paint tin wasn't there anymore, but I saw it. It's on the floor, and it really intrigued me. What, a, what an interesting shape, what an interesting design. But if you look more, if you look deeper, and maybe more with your heart or your, you know, the way that your imagination works, I saw something ethereal. I saw hair, flowing hair. I think fireballs, fantastic. Um, and again, we all see things differently. Some of us will see a fireball. Um, I call this angels in strange places. And this is uh, what I've entitled the short uh, slideshow that you're going to see now. Uh, it's angels in strange places. I want you to relax, uh, take it easy for Four, four and a half minutes. Uh, there's some nice images and there's some music. Uh, if I could have the, the lights down, then we'll begin.
I think you see that if you take the time to look and you look with an inquiring mind and, and a, a feeling heart that all kinds of images and all kinds of things from your environment will make themselves known to you. Um, this is true, I think, not just in photographs. I think in, in life, uh, I'm a, a trainer, I teach communication skills, and when we, talk, we teach people to communicate with each other, imagine a situation where you just transfer information only. And it's a very superficial relationship. Imagine if you approach those interactions with uh, a feeling heart, with an inqui inquiring, inquisitive mind about the person that you're dealing with. Imagine how much richer and deeper and more beneficial those relationships become. Uh, so I'd, I'd like to leave you with a, some instructions. <laughs> Approach things with an inquiring mind um, and a feeling heart. Allow your environment to make itself known to you for beautiful things to appear and especially follow the instructions on this slide. Thank you.